The Origin of Social Behavior Some three million years ago, certain primate species came out of the trees and began to walk on two legs. Our ancestors faced new kinds of predators and could no longer stay up in the trees to avoid being eaten. They had to adapt to new conditions. They had to walk around and forage for food. There was strength in numbers. By sticking together, a troop of bipedal apes could fend off a lion that would easily mangle any one of them. Much more recently, around 100,000 years ago, the climate changed drastically, becoming very cold and dry. There was an extreme shortage of water and livable climate. Anthropologists call this an environmental bottleneck. It's the kind of situation that speeds up the evolutionary process because it demands that you adapt or die. Some species became extinct in this situation. Other species adapt and become stronger. That's what happened to early humanoids. Most became extinct, but one small strain of Homo sapiens survived and evolved. The most important change that our ancestors made was the development of the mind. This mind was capable of symbolic thought, empathy, and possessed a powerful memory. The Amazing Effects of Mega Memory as the climate changed, humans had to find new food sources. In a colder climate, our age-old sources of food, bugs and berries, were no longer available and we had to hunt bigger sources of protein. Shelter and clothing were a necessity in order to survive the harsh elements. Locations conducive to survival, warmth, water, and food, were hard to find. We had to share resources. We had to learn to get along with each other, form alliances, and share information. Our minds gave us the ability to remember, form alliances, maintain social status, and strategize day-to-day -day survival. The mind became the most powerful survival asset. Brute force was no longer all-important. The new alpha male was smart, social, athletic, and skilled in hunting and gathering food. Because we were now a social species, the new alpha male was a man who was valuable to others. He was no longer a bully, but a leader in the group. A profound and revealing fact must also be mentioned. It has been proven through anthropological forensics that humans did not start speaking verbal language until about 50,000 years ago. Remember that tribal pre-humans emerged 2 million years ago. That means that for 1.95 million years, our ancestors functioned in tribes without speaking in words. Vocal cords didn't appear until 200,000 years ago, and only then we communicated with grunts and moans. As a species, talking with words is relatively new. For most of our history, we communicated by entirely different means. The 50,000 years since the emergence of language is a sliver of time compared to the millions of years we evolved to communicate non-verbally. Again, this is not enough time to phase out what took so long to hardwire into our nature. Humans communicate verbally, but more so non-verbally through body language, emotions observed physically, eye contact, and vocal inflection. Attraction code clue number seven. Humans have been mating long before language has even existed. So we know that body language and other physical cues are much more significant than language. However, an attractive man is not constantly thinking about these things. They just happen automatically. He must be thinking about something else.